This video will show you how to compare two folders to find the duplicate files between them and delete the found duplicate files all at once. Here I use a Mac computer as an example. The tool I use is System Duplicate Finder for Mac. I will also recommend a method for Windows PC users. Add the two folders that you want to compare. There are two ways to add folders. Once the scan is done, you will find all the found duplicate files under the All tab. You can also view them by file type such as documents and images. You can easily preview duplicate files. The first preview mode allows you to easily preview duplicate images side by side. As you can see, System Duplicate Finder will automatically select duplicate files for you to delete with one click. Instead of sticking to the auto selection, you can also choose a selection rule. Here's how to apply the rule to all the found duplicate files. Now all the selected unwanted duplicate files are removed. Here's a more advanced guide that you may find useful. These five photos are duplicates. I want to keep this one and delete the rest. I will call the needed one the reference file. I want to make sure that all the reference files will be kept in folder A and all the unwanted files will be deleted. Go the settings. Choose the selection tab. Make sure that you choose this option. Now add the two folders that you are comparing. Set the priority value. The value can be arbitrary. But make sure that the value for folder A is smaller because I want to keep the reference files in folder A. Now batch select all the duplicate files under the All tab. Choose the rule select by priority. This preview mode allows you to easily verify the selection. You will find that all the references files are in folder A and not selected.
After you click the delete button, only the unwanted files, which are selected, will be removed. System Duplicate Finder for Mac is a powerful, easy-to-use app to find and delete duplicate files. And you can find the official free trial for Mac in the description section below. If you are using a Windows PC, you can check out the guide I recommend in the description section. Thanks for watching.